wet. Wet, she assaulted oh, me. Please. And this is a silk hey. suit. Do you have any idea what it costs? $3,000. What is that, 10 hours of your work? Probably only six. Officers, this is absurd. My client no way intended to attack that man. No, actually, I was going after him. Exactly. Soon to be ex-husband. Because of the egregious hostility of his attorney's notes on the strategy of the divorce negotiations, my client has been pushed beyond all endurance. She is yet another victim of a male-dominated society which routinely exploits and discards wives like they were so many used tissues. I'll tell you, this is what has to be discarded. Can we just drop this, please? It's my suit. I will pay for yours. your suit. That's not the point, or the only point. I have every right to legal recourse. And this is the voice of reason you hired for your quick, simple divorce? Yes, he needs protection. From me? Yes, a violent, paranoid, parasitic wife. <laughs> At least I have taste. Because if that suit costs $3,000, I think you need to rethink your choice of hired gun. Oh, that's it. I've had okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. 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 That's, that's it. That's it. That's it. We'll settle this downtown at the station. Let's go. Oh, come on now. We can't. Let's All right, go. let's go to the station. This is great. Hey, this, this is not what I'm hiring you You need to show well, this. Well, 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 we'll right. this right hey, after come on, we deal with it. There's got to be a way to get around this. Uh, Ernie, everything under control? I don't think I'd go that far. I'm sorry, I feel obligated to help you. I'm the one who got you into this. I think I can handle the case. And Reba. I think. If you can't, don't take it personally. A lot of men have been trying to handle Reba, and they just sort of lose their grip. So, uh, good luck. Well, did you see Josh and Reba's little carnival act there? Fairly tough to miss. Yeah, and that's supposed to be an amicable split. Just imagine how nasty things are going to get for you if you continue to be so pig-headed and stubborn. And I'm telling you, if you don't shape up, you're going to have a disaster on your hands, too. And you know something? You'll deserve it. Any comment? Yeah, you're fired. Because I disagree with you? No, Ross, because you, you don't seem to be able to grasp one very simple fact. This child is my son. Whose name is James? He's my son. That's the issue. Nobody is contesting paternity. No, Jim just wants to adopt him, Ross. I don't know. I have a feeling that, that would probably curtail my rights as his father. No, Phil, let me ask you something about your rights. Do they supersede the rights of that little boy? His right to stability and happiness, for example? I want him. I'm the one that wants him to have the life that he deserves. You do? Yeah. Well, he could wind up with a mother who positively despises his biological father. He could wind up missing that sense of security that only comes with a loving family. Who knows the prices that James will have to pay if you keep insisting on every one of your little rights. And who are you? Are you perfect? Can you predict the future? Maybe he's going to end up a lonely little kid in the Spalding Mansion, wondering when Daddy will get home from God oh, knows you know where. What? Is that what David, he deserves? David, that's not fair. You know he will never be as alone as I was when I was growing up. You know that. Don't project your abandonment issues to this situation and this child, all right? I no longer know what the hell you are doing. I am just trying to avoid a tragedy. Yeah, right, right. right. Oh, I understand, Ross. All I have to do is, is uh, what? Abandon my infant son. That's it. He is not being consigned to hell. Jim is a good and decent man. Or have you conveniently forgotten how genuinely wonderful he was to Lizzie? I think he'd be a wonderful father to Oh, James. I'm sure he'll do a great job, Ross, as long as I continue to foot the bill. Yeah, is Jim right about that, too? Do you bring everything back to money? Well, let me... So that, so that means nothing, right? That's not part of the responsibility of parenting? A good father shouldn't pay the bills? Well, yeah, of course he should. Yeah? But Jim is not exactly a welfare case. You sure about that? Doesn't seem to be any big hurry to leave the mansion. You know, come to think of it, neither's Beth. She's got it pretty good out there, doesn't she? Does she have to cook or clean or do anything she doesn't want to do? I don't think so. Not the last time I checked. So you know what? 
maybe this could work. Maybe their little nuclear family could provide all kinds of stability for my son. The only problem with this LeMay middle-class fantasy world is that it's being entirely underwritten by yours truly. Then end it. Just stop it. Jim and Beth will never know what they're capable of as a family unless you give them a chance to make it without your money and without your influence. Right, so what, what should I do, Ross? I should not only pretend that my son isn't my son, I should, uh, I should turn him over to a man who is barely in the black and just say, good luck, it's okay, good, go ahead. Have a one track. And then what should I do? Tell me, tell me, what do I do five years from now? When, when Beth comes knocking on the door all teary-eyed and tells me, you know, Philip, private schools are so expensive, and would you mind writing a check? Because after all, he is your son. And I write it because he is my son. And his name is James. And my name is Philip. And if I do this, that's all I'll ever be to this kid, Ross, is a name on a check. And there's a hell of a lot more to fatherhood than that. Only you don't seem to agree with that, and that is why you're fired. Okay. But you can't fire me as an uncle or a friend, and that's a good thing. Because you need somebody to tell you the truth. I can do that, Ross. I can tell him what a pig-headed fool he is. He's all yours. Give another friend a chance. Let's see, I get, uh, I get advice, I get insults, I get warnings. Right. I have to tell you, I, I really cherish the input that I get right. from my so-called friends and family. Enough is enough here. Just back off on that for... Oh, why is everybody acting like Beth needs to be defended? Let I'm me tell you something. Beth can take care of herself very well I'm, when she wants. I'm not defending Beth. It's your techniques. You aren't being a bully. All right. You know what? Forget it. Forget you're, you're it. No, 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 no. You're threatening to take away this kid from, from the both of them, pal. What are you... What? Harley told me. You remember Harley, blonde, beautiful, your next ex-wife? Yeah, I remember. How is she? How is she? Let's see. Last night... Last night was interesting. She was a blend of, you know, total outrage and utter despair. You know, the usual effects you have on women. Your life, quintessential embarrassment of riches. Now, I'm not talking about the money. The ex-wives, the kids. Oh, goodness. Legitimate and extracurricular. Must be nice to have so much. Hell, I would be thrilled beyond belief just to have one of each. Okay, well, you know, Rick, I've, I've actually heard this speech before, and I'm not really in the mood. You know, it must be so again. nice, you know, to have everything that you want, pal, that you can afford to risk being a total jackass and, and risk losing your wife. My wife is already gone. You no, know, you know, gone would mean that she wouldn't have been at my doorstep telling me what a jerk you've been. Oh, <laughs> so I should take that as a sign you know, of if hope. You just, if you would just slow down once in your life and look in your heart, I think you would see what all this insanity is all about. Right, which, of course, you I, already know. I have a theory. Right. I think you risk losing Harley because you miss her so much that you're threatening to browbeat and make everybody as miserable as you are. Look, I got some good news, and I got some bad news. Now, which one do you want first? The good. I'm an optimist. Okay. Harley is back on the force. She's coming in in a little while to process her paperwork. Whoa. What brought this on? Her pride. She doesn't want to take a dime from Philip after the divorce. Yeah, she always wants to take charge, lady. Good for her. Yeah? So, well, the bad news? <laughs> the bad news is I got a call from headquarters, and they're auditing the department. So that oh, means about two weeks of intense paperwork for us. I hate this desk jockey jazz. There is, however, some good news left, and that is that if you team up with my sister, who knows, maybe you could stay on the street. Ah, and maybe keep an eye on her for you till she's up to speed? There you go. Uh-huh. <laughs> sure she's up to this, Frank? Well, divorce is pretty heavy. It can take a lot out of you. Yeah, well, uh, hey, listen. My sister is 100% pro. Well, the pro's 100% late if she plans to see us. The ship's almost over. I know. I know. I'm late. But you would be, too, if you had a baby who started screaming the moment your clueless new teenage babysitter bopped in and said, Oh, so this is, like, where you live? It's 
impossible to get out of the house, David. Would you grab that police report, Paul? She's back. Right. Wait a minute. Don't worry about it. You get back in the group. Wait what? A Wait a minute. This is my wall unit. This is my wall unit. I got a car phone here. Wait, here it is. I found it. Thought I forgot it. You know where I can plug this stuff in? We do have phones here, Harley. No, I, I know. It's just I had to give my do sitter. It cell phone number because I didn't know exactly where I'd be in case something happened and my batteries were so low that I had to bring all the chargers. <laughs> Unbelievable. Listen, I want you to get uh, started here right into the thick of things. So I'm going to put you on this Perlmutter embezzlement case. And you're going to be teaming up with David here. Oh, no, maybe not. What? Well, wait. Why wouldn't I be? Well, unless I'm sure my partner's focused and effective, I won't hit the streets with him. And it's too easy to end up dead. Well, what are you saying? That I'm not reliable? <laughs> I just want to know that when you come through that door, you're ready to work. Uh, all right, detective. I'm ready. I'm ready. You, I mean, For whatever these jobs they throw you. Oh, no, I'm not ready. Oh, Yes, exactly. You know, you're no sitting in the park. Well, 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 Philip would have been in, been in another two seconds if you hadn't stopped him dead in his tracks with that threat to go to the IRS. That, that was amazing. You know, what choice I had? He's acting demented. But I'm not a chicken, and he's, he's not going to run my life anymore. Our life, Beth. Hey, what exactly do you have on Philip that you can take to the IRS anyway? Nothing. Well, but he doesn't know that. It was a bluff. <laughs> it was a bluff. It's it great. doesn't matter in the end, anyhow, because all I have to do is say I believe there'd been malfeasance and the feds would be all over it. Months, years of audits. <laughs> Mess with me, right? But now that I think of it, I probably shouldn't have dinner in the dining room. I don't no. want to run into Philip. You know what? You're going to come home with me today, right now, right now. Uh, 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 I, I know that. We said I was going to move into your place again at some point. Yeah, but... this is the point, Beth. This is it. You think I'm going to let my wife spend one more night under the same roof as Philip Spalding after the crap that he pulled today? I, I, I don't I, think I so. I understand, but I know that, that Philip said that it was okay when I said that I was going to move out, yeah. but I'm just worried after what happened today. I, I don't think we want to risk making him angrier. Who cares if he gets angrier? So what? Look, it's not like you have a formal custody agreement or anything. You, you can do whatever you want. And if Philip doesn't like it, you send him to me. I'll explain it to him. Either that or I'll... Oh, give him another one. It, it's a big change, Jim. Yeah, it is. It's a very big change. You're going from the house of a man who bullies you to one who just loves you. That is, uh... Unless, of course, if you're a uh, chicken. Is that an egg there by your feet? Watch out. I want you to get that in the you're, you're saying that I'm <laughs> chicken. No, okay, okay, give me the back. Back to that, by the way. <laughs> chicken, right. Chicken. Here's something. You're right. You're right. The kids deserve to have a place of their own, and to hell with Philip. To hell with Philip. I just... Hope we get out of here before he comes back. Well, I don't know why everybody finds it so damn hard to understand why I would like to be an active part of my children's lives. I find it actually particularly curious that you don't understand it. The man who's been dying to have his own family for years. The man who's been fighting with his wife, with whom it has been a sticking point in their relationship for years. No, actually, it's been a, a deal breaker. What? Um... Abby's left me. She's gone. She left you? Because you wanted kids? As much as she didn't. And because she became part of this new world that she just couldn't give up, and I understand that. It hurts like hell, but you know what? I don't think she had any other choice. Rick, I'm sorry. I, I had no idea that things had 
No, no, of course you didn't. I mean, you were so wrapped up in your own psychodrama, it wouldn't have registered. So I decided not to interrupt your almost perfect self-involvement. You didn't deserve that. Well, what you were asking for... Home, wife, and some kids, that's not... That is not unreasonable to ask. Yeah, but I don't have that, and you do. You do. You know what? You are gonna drive everyone away. Everyone you care about, including your children, if you don't watch it. When was the last time that you got down on a rug and just rolled the ball around with Zach? When was the last time? Too long. <laughs> this coming from the man who thumps his chest and proclaims, Hey, I'm the father, man! need to go so soon. So, what'd you find? Seems there's a new guest in a luxury suite at the Towers who's paying with a stolen platinum card. Huh. Zeno Martin, right. punk. Anything else? Plenty. I heard from my contacts. The word out of Chicago is that last year, after your uncle Federico died, Louis Foreyes seriously thought about expanding his operations into Springfield. Zeno was involved in that? Uh, in a way. All that he told you about his big, heavy rep? Lies. Mm -hmm. He was a nobody, but he wanted to impress the big boys, so he figured the best way to do that was to take out Carmen and clear the way for Louis. So did he? Yeah. Then when he got back to Chicago, he blew his own horn for all it was worth. He bragged about killing my mother? More than that. He said that in Springfield, Springfield was run by an old lady, and time would take care of her, and that the Santos kid didn't even need to be taken care of, because he was a wimp. How is this information? It doesn't come any better. Then why is Zeno back here? I mean, he made his mark for Chicago, right? No, no, no. The big boys are interested in team players, not freelancers. Zeno's hit was unauthorized, and that, that's not good. What does that mean, not good? It means Chicago won't make a fuss if you were to, uh, Cut short his stay here in town. All right. This is what's going to happen. I'm going to close the club early tonight. I want you to get word to Zeno that I run a private high stakes poker game here. Tell him there's a place for him if he's got the cash to fill it. And I'll handle it from there. Can you do that? He'll be here. I guarantee it. All right. You see, Danny? There's no reason our families can't work together. Senorita? What happened? I just got a chance to make everything all right. So 
So, I, what I don't is something Okay, hold on, hold on! Hey, hey! This is a police station! One at a time, please! Mr. Russo, why don't we start with you? She came straight at me with that bucket, no hesitation whatsoever. I wish I'd had another shot at him. Mr. Russo, would you like to file assault charges? No, he does not want to file assault yes, charges. Yes, I would. No. As I said before, yes, my client did dampen the suit of Mr. Russo. Dampen? She might as well have dragged me through a car wash. But she was justifiably incensed yes. by notes taken on the behalf of Mr. Lewis. Can I see these? Where do you see this? Take a piece of the pie in her dreams. Play unfit mother card? Yeah. And look at this one right here. See? What? I should get off her assets and uh, find they, a second job. They were you don't, simply uh, idle thoughts. Those are his notes. I couldn't even see I'm them from sorry. where I was sitting. He's your lawyer. But it doesn't mean I was going to use them, Reba. That would be out of the question. Come on. Excellent. Shut up. Now, you know, I don't know whether I should believe you or not, because all the right words are coming out of your your mouth, but yet... You haven't fired this man. Because that would upset Olivia, wouldn't it? Because she's the one that had you hire him in the first place. And you had me hauled down to this police station. What's next? You want to bring in the news crew so that everybody knows about it? I hope he does. I want to get a fix on public opinion. You are the archetypal wronged wife. What, hooey? Uh, and these are the vulgar, libelous expressions of pure greed. Proof of a de facto conspiracy to commit sexual predation promulgated by a callous husband and a shameless, unprincipled mercenary of an attorney. Watch it, pal. Furthermore, if that's a $3,000 suit, pigs can fly. You over. Stop it. Come on, Al. Easy, 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 easy. What the hell is going on in here? <laughs> I said, what the hell is going on in here? Oh, yes. Yes, definitely. I love you in that dress. I even love more out of it. <laughs> I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. <laughs> Just kind of dump this in here, right? Where are you guys going? Lizzie. Ah. Uh, no, you said I wouldn't have to leave Dad. You promised. Thanks, Father. Get up now. Look at this kid. He's filthy. Do you even know he was here? It's a miracle he didn't stick something in his mouth and choke on it. Everything was cool. Well, everything is not cool now. Where is his mother? Come At here. work. Come here. Okay, it's all right, it's all right. Get out, all of you, get out. And I suggest you look for a paper route because every parent in this town is going to know you are the last kid on earth they should leave their children with. Hey, we should still get paid. I mean, get out! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to yell. I didn't mean to yell. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. As a matter of fact, you look like you did very well, didn't you? Didn't you? What is this we got all over your face? This chocolate cookie goo? Oh, honey, come here. Come here. What's mommy doing? What's she doing? Come here. All right, let's get you fixed up here. It's time for an emergency de chocolatization for the Z-Man. Come here. Come here. Come here. It's okay. You love chocolate. You love chocolate. You like your daddy, aren't you? I love chocolate. Boo. Boo. I love it on everything, just like you. You know what I'm going to do? What are you doing here? And what are you doing with my brother? Sweetie, I'm sorry. We should have waited until you got home and explained everything to you before we just started packing. I guess we just got so excited. I'm sorry. You forgive me, huh? Honey? Why don't you want to go there, Lizzie? 
Well, for one thing, Dad was going to help me with my book report. What? I mean, well, he was. And it's due tomorrow. I mean, it's bad enough that I have to go to these makeup classes in the summer. Now my dad can't even help me with my work. Lizzie, honey, just, just because you're coming to my house, it, it doesn't mean your dad's disappeared. You can see him whenever you want to. All you have to do is pick up the phone. It's not the same as walking down the hall and knocking on his door. You're right. You're right, it's not. But you have to trust us right now because we are doing the best that we can. And we think we can even do it better in a quieter place. Yeah, quieter and smaller. All right, all right, you're right, 100% right. My place isn't exactly the Taj Mahal, but, but you know, you were happy there before. And guess what? This time you'll have your own room all to yourself, because Susan's going to be staying with Harley. Could I paint it pink? You paint it... Oh, she's tough. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I, I got an idea for you. How about if you help me load some of your favorite toys, definitely your white horse, and we'll load them into the car, and then when we go home, we can uh, go look at some sample paint chips down in my workshop. How about that? I, I guess so. But we have to make sure to pack Little Jim's baseball mitt. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm glad you reminded me of that. Where, where is that thing anyway? I was looking for it earlier. Um, I think it's in the playroom. Think we can find it? Come on, let's go. Go get that mitt. You know, I think I... I saw a place down the block where you get a really nice ball or two, maybe a bat that he can use. experience as I'm likely to come in this lifetime. Enjoy your bath. Yes? Beth? Uh, I hope I'm not disturbing you. Ne never. Something wrong? Everything, actually. Um, Edmund... You once told me that I could call you if I needed you, as a friend. Well, I need you now. Arrest him! Immediately! I'll leave the one responsible for this, guys, not me! Just Go hurry! Stop! Stop! Stop. Now listen to me. What we have here is a clear-cut case of offset personal fouls. That's it. I don't understand. Uh, typical. Shut shut both up. of you, shut up! Now, this has been a horrific afternoon. We have to stop thinking about assault charges, Vince. We have to stop thinking about lawsuits and the most ridiculous charges since the Dreyfus affair. I want you both to go home, to go back to whatever rocks you live under, and do the paperwork necessary to end this insanity once and for all. Is that a deal? Amen. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Good idea. Good idea. Gentlemen, would you please... Follow me. I would like to apologize for this. Good. Go ahead. I apologize. Well, I'd like to apologize, too. Except for the fact that that slime deserved everything he got. Come on. You have to know that I would never get involved in this kind of legal nonsense. Time will tell. My lawyer will be in touch. Fine. Excuse me. Oh, a great You need a lift? so-called babysitter that Harley hired turned the job into a house party, so I'm going to take Zach home with me. All you ever do is what you want. 
And do you even think about who's hurt or stepped on along the way? No. Susan, I'm not going to argue with you. Can't you just leave him here with me or... I tried to call Harley, but the phone is like, messed up. Please, she'll be here in like two seconds. No, I'm going to take him with me. It'll be all right. Fine. Jerk. Susan? I don't know what your father tried to teach you in the way of manners, but he obviously didn't do a very good job. When you get a little older, you'll realize that that attitude is not only annoying, it really it doesn't work very often. Actually, it only ends up hurting you. You want to know? And don't you dare say one word about my father. He is the best father ever, a million times better than you could ever be. Compared to you, you're nothing but a scared, mean, lying creep. So I see someone else doesn't want to be here for dinner either. Oh. Well, you're looking at a guy who's probably hit every search engine on the web trying to find something fishy with Claire Ramsey. You didn't find anything? Nothing. Checked AMA websites, hospital websites, everything. So far she's coming across as a perfect individual. Look, I appreciate all the time and effort they put into this, but it looks like it was wasted anyway. What? I have it on pretty good authority that Claire did not kill my mother. Well, does that mean that you know who did? Look, I really can't answer that. But I need to ask you to do me another favor. Sure. Do you mind taking Pilar out tonight? And then take her home and stay there with her? Wait a minute. This isn't the kind of favor that big brothers are usually asking. I'm serious. And I don't want you to leave her side until you hear from me. Okay, no problem. She'll be safe with me. Thanks. Yeah. How safe are you going to be? There's nothing to worry about. Unless Reva comes back. You see? It's starting again. He's being pulled back into that oh, life again. No, relax. I know it. I can smell it in the air. I can see it in his okay, eyes. Okay, hey, 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 no, I'm, hey. I'm really scared. Okay, okay. Hey, do you know the thing that I love the most about you? Huh? It's the way you feel about the people that you love. Yeah, well, I just can't help it. I know. I know, that's what makes you special. But I just think that maybe you ought to get off the family roller coaster for a little while, you know? The ride could get a little rough. Okay? Just let it go. Someone uh, ruined your suit too, then, huh? I was thinking of having a chilled martini waiting for you, but then I, I figured with the ice bucket incident, maybe you prefer something a little warmer. I see. So you would be the uh, the hors d'oeuvre then? Well, that depends. How hungry are you? Oh, I, I, I think I could uh, be talked into a nibble. Well, in that case, maybe you should unwrap me and see if I'm to your taste. Well, I already know that. I, I, the question is, uh, how hard are you to open? <laughs> oh, I'm extremely user-friendly. Starting point right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 what was that? What was that? Excuse me, excuse me. It's oh, a little coupon, huh? Good for one. <laughs> This is very nice. Yeah. Very sweet, yes. Let's see. One more here. Oh, another way, another way, another way. Oh, there's another coupon. <laughs> right there, I see. Uh, similar, but different. Very nice. And, oh, there's just one more right there. Excuse me. Is that how you spell that? Uh -huh. 
I didn't know that. Learn something new every day, huh? Come and get it. <laughs> Fact? Who are you talking to on the phone? Um, my, uh, my mother. I, I wanted to let the hospital know where we're going to oh, okay. You know, I should go tell Susan where we're going. Hey, who knows? Maybe she'll want to move in with us. That'd be cool. You'd yeah. be like sisters again. Come on, let's go. Let's go. You heard the lady. Let's go. Honey, it's going to be terrific. You saw how, how gung-ho Lizzie was? No, I just, I don't think Philip's going to be quite so sunny. <laughs> you know what? It doesn't matter how Philip takes this, okay? Because no matter what he does, no matter what he says, we'll handle it. Together. Okay. That's the most important thing, right? That's, that's staying together. Uh, yeah, that's the game plan, yeah. <sighs> okay. You're right. You're right. You are. And I promise you, I am going to do everything in my power to keep this family a family. Starting with... Yes. Don't be teasing me now. This. Don't be teasing me. You coming? Sounds like an invitation. I'll reach you the call. <laughs> But you know what? Just a little while, we'll be back home and everything will be okay. All right. That's okay. Whoa, you stop right where you are. Remember, just keep it booked for a while tonight and we'll be something like that and then get her home. Yeah, keep her there. I know. Right. Don't worry. She's going to be safe. Okay. Thanks. One stop. Hey, come on. He's your brother. You gotta trust him. He'll do the right thing. Come on. Guiding Light.